G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here's the latest update on my two colour TV project. And I've made some uh, leaps and bounds now. I'm, I am now getting a an actual nice looking two colour image. Of course on camera it doesn't do justice, but to the naked eye it looks really good. What I had to... Uh, Firstly, uh, I had to fix up the red TV because it was it was making a horrible smeary image and uh, was uh, going to vertical collapse. Turns out there was a dry joint, or not a dry joint, but the uh, track, one of the tracks kind of lifted up where a capacitor was and it was kind of like, a, it kind of went to a dry joint in that spot. So so I, I fixed that up. Also, I cut a lot of the... Uh, the kind of like protruding uh, wire lead, all the protruding wire leads underneath the circuit board because they could easily bend and touch each other, seeing I've screwed the boards down. Anyhow, getting to the image, I've, uh, I've done some adjustments of the height and horizontal positioning on the two TVs. I'm getting a close to... Uh, aligned picture still not perfect but it's good enough to for demonstration purposes so far I had to I tried to adjust the, the the camera settings on my phone to to really see both the uh, color both the colors but yeah, it, just, it doesn't look that great on, on camera. It looks good to the naked eye, but not great on camera. But anyway, you can see the bus there. Uh, and it's colourful glory. I might try and adjust the shutter speed down so the colour might pop out a bit more. Yeah, you'll end up getting some flicker though. Yeah, the colour looks better now. Uh, but you just get a bit bit of flicker because of the five frame difference between the TV and the phone. So I'm running at one thirty for frame a second. All right, so yeah, you can you can see the color a lot better. Still not as good as to the naked eye, but it's it's there. The sky is uh, cyan blue, bluish cyan. The bus is nice and red. The trees, of course ended up going more towards the red scale than the uh, blue green scale but that's that happens with two strip color anyway overall I'm very happy with the results so far making leaps and bounds now let's move to the next image and see how that looks So we've got the sequins again, I'll just align them up and you can distinctly now see the, fully see the colours, still some geometric issues trying to line the pictures up. All the same. Colors are there. Now I'll go to the last image, with, which is out of Sydney. Oh, by the way, I've actually swapped the yoke leads around once again. Seeing I'm now viewing from, I'm now reflecting the cyan picture. I've decided to reverse the yoke leads on the cyan TV and and have the leads normal on the on the uh, red TV, that's for the horizontal deflection. Now here's where you really see the actual colors. This picture really shows it off and it, and it looks beautiful now. I'm really, I'm really proud of how this came out. Take a look at that. Still a bit of 
still a bit of alignment procedure need to take place to get everything right but, but the colours are just there and really eye popping now it's just a matter of trying to get the damn thing lined up I'm going to pause the camera and try and get it lined up so bear with me okay I can't get I still can't get it fully aligned up but anyway um, I'll get one part of the image lined up the other is misaligned and then the other part lined up and the other misaligned so but anyway I'll, I'll adjust it accordingly so you can see one of the flags he the colors are definitely there with a nice with nice in between mixes of color the whites are really starting to look whiter now anyway that's it's a really nice result so yeah we've got we really got the colors now which is fantastic which is what I wanted to achieve alrighty so um, now the next thing I've been working on is building this uh, circuit just hold on a second I need to adjust the aperture or, or, or uh, shutter speed I meant <laughs> anyway um, yeah I'm copying uh, Richard's circuit it's upside down <laughs> so I'm copying the circuit to uh, so I can output video from the RGB outputs and I'll input it to the circuit and I'll tie the green and the blue together and uh, and put a and Richard as Richard said put a put a uh, a variable pot on the output um, joining the two so I can so I can uh, adjust the mix of the blue and the green to how I want it and yeah red will go standalone also uh, yeah I also did actually tested running the leads straight out of the RGB outputs here and yeah only the green output has the actual sync but anyway there's, there's the uh, red green blue outputs which says why PB, PR. So they'll be the outputs I output from the DVD player to the circuit. And then output from the circuit to the inputs of the TVs. And then I can just simply run straight video via the circuit to the TVs and I'll get me two colour pictures instead of having to run two DVDs of two. DVD players to the to the two TVs. All right, so this experiment was is so far becoming very successful. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Stay tuned for my next update on my two color TV project. This is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out.